Welcome back to the channel, what's up YouTube family? Today we're going to be checking out some Battlefield 1. We're starting on a Conquest benchmark right now, because Conquest is the most demanding game mode. Right now we are going to be playing with some high settings. So we'll change that to Ultra and we'll work our way down. Because on my system right now I am running an i5-4460 and in no way, shape or form would I recommend building a computer with i5-4460. It's been on my computer for a long time, I just have it there due to money limitations. Obviously it'll get changed out in the hopefully near future. So we're running that paired with a GTX 1060 and the thing with the CPU, first and foremost, is it's a very, very old CPU. We get extreme bottlenecks. Look at that. Look at that top left corner there. Just take a look at it. CPU 100%, GPU 61%. So. Everyone knows Battlefield is a very CPU intensive game, and I do not have a very good CPU to deal with the load that is asked of it. So, first and foremost, you will be getting pretty, pretty poor performance using an i5-4460, so... If you're like me, and you have it, that's why you're looking at this video, and we need to upgrade. Let's be real guys, we need to upgrade. But, without further ado, Ultra Settings, we're getting a very choppy experience, 36. 34 looking downfield we're at our end flag looking downfield so obviously if we look this way we're gonna get a better experience if we look this way our experience is not gonna be super flash a lot of texture poppins we're experiencing um, 29 fps you see drop is there and heaven forbid a grenade was to go off next to us or this plane was to drop a bomb on us you know we would be getting a lot bigger frame spikes than we are seeing, or frame dips, but we'll conclude Ultra by running into the city here, hopefully getting into a fight. Really bad, really really bad texture poppins. Game obviously looks, don't look that way, game obviously looks gorgeous, um, but, oh huge frame drop there, but it's just, the CPU is just not keeping up, it's just not keeping up at all, look at it right there, 100. 49% you saw it drop just before to 8% CPU under load at 100% GPU at 8% just let that sink in for two seconds very very old architecture in the 4460 the 1060 the graphics card the 1060 6GB edition should be absolutely monstrous this game but it's just held back so, what we're going to do, drop it down to high, see if that gets us any better. Alright, so... High is keeping us a little bit more stable, but same thing, we're getting getting the very uh, maxed out CPU. Alright, so keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Oh, was that on medium? Must have missed it. Whatever. So lowest of the low. Lowest to the low, same thing. It's a very consistent experience. <laughs> All round. This time we are playing some team deathmatch, so we're doing smaller variations of the maps. This is where you will experience. Okay, okay, okay. This is where you will experience a much better time with your current setup or my current setup, the i5-4460 and the 1060-60 gb uh, Basically, less map, less players. You're gonna get a bit of experience. Same thing. We still have a maxed out CPU all the time, and the GPU is running 70 sitting there. But we're on ultra graphics right now and we are definitely getting a much better experience. Low low 50s, low high 40, uh, 60 if you're sort of standing still. 
but playing it on ultra, very playable. Very playable. Tried to out sniper behemoth. So that's ultra, drop it down to high, because high still looks phenomenal on this game, so... Respawn. Alright, we're inside now. Get outside. So high graphics. Getting around the 50 mark. High 50s, little dips into the 40s, very, very playable. Uh, medium, probably not very important, let's skip down to low again. Now, these settings aren't making that much of a difference because of the aforementioned CPU problem that we're having, so we are getting a bit more of a stable performance here, but regardless, these jumps aren't like drastic because of our, our wee problem that we get. This will wrap up our. This will wrap up our benchmark. You see what you need to see. Basically, bottom line is i5 4460 just isn't going to cut it in these next generation games. Sad but true. Hopefully, if you keep checking out the channel, we will be putting an upgrade in here. I'm not really sure what we're going to do. If it's going to be a Skylake overhaul or if we're going to get a nice unlocked i7 or something and overclock the hell out of it. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, but for now, it's a rookie gamer, we out of here.